This week's demonstration is brought to you in association with BusyMits.com, the online craft social network. Hello and welcome to the Crafts Channel. I'm Chelsea Clark and this is Corinne Brad and today we're doing a demonstration on how to make a flame grilled flowers. Sounds very intriguing. <laughs> yeah, it's something that you can rustle up in your kitchen, Chelsea. But it's just a very simple way of making quite organic looking blossoms. Mm. Um, what it is, is you use an organza fabric. Okay. Um, and because it is predominantly plastic, yeah. it melts really beautifully in a flame. I can so see. So that you can, you can make these little flowers and they, they they just move so beautifully. Mm. You could have them as a corsage, mm. um, on a hairband, you could decorate picture frames with them. They um, really are lovely. I've got a selection of organzas here and you've got some there. Mm. There's, there's difference in organza. You've got things like chiffon, which is like the chiffon scarf used to be made of. Right. Um, and that's very floaty. Or there's more metallic organza like this one that you've got here that's almost quite stiff. Mm. That one's got a glitter to it there. So have a try out before you embark on making a flower. Just get a little scrap of the fabric and see how well it melts mm. because they will melt differently. Okay. Um, to make the flower, cut a circle of organza. Okay. Now I've cheated, I've used a die cutting system. Okay. If you've got a die cutting system, make the most of it because, because the, the material is very thin, it does have a tendency to... Mm -hmm you know, go like this. You could cut a circle by folding it into four and then cutting a semicircle. Oh yeah, that's true. Um, but just really for speed, I've used a die cut machine. Then with your circle, cut towards the center so that you make about six petals. Mm -hmm. Use six your fabric. Petals. You can, can you do less petals? Yeah, if you want? five or six. I mean, you know, I've, some of the flowers I've made, I've, you know, I've started cutting round and I've, I've not gone opposite and there's not been room. But, you know, the okay. beauty of it is because flowers aren't perfectly symmetrical and some, some petals are bigger than others, it doesn't really matter. That's true. Um, when you've cut your spokes into your circle, just fold these out of the way and then your flame. Don't put it right in the flame, because actually that's not the hottest part of the flame. You'll find the heat will be just sort of above here. Mm -hmm. um, and if you just pop, you see it's gone oh, already. It shrivels right away, yeah. doesn't it? And just carefully, don't put it in too close, because it will catch fire. <laughs> with, this, with something like this, just make sure your hair's, you know, especially with hair, you know, make sure you're not looking over the top of it to see what's happening, yeah. because your hair will go up. Health and um, you know, I mean, it's something y you could, children could have a go at it under supervision. Okay. Um, it's quite but fun for them. Yeah, it is quite. The, the other thing is also, it's quite a nice scientific experiment. They can see, you know, the convection of heat coming up from a flame because you would think that you know, the, the heat would be there. Yeah, whereas it's it. not. I mean, although my finger's quite close to the flame, that the heat is actually coming up. Mm hmm. So quick, isn't it? Just yeah. curls up instantly. Now this organza is, is quite flexible. That I think there's a certain amount of um, other fibre in this. Um, it's not shriveling as quickly as some of the others. Some of the others go up like you wouldn't yeah. believe. <laughs> this one goes quite quickly, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And this is why you know a lot of these fabrics. They, I mean, you used to get night dresses and things like that in mm. these fabrics until they realised that actually it was a terrible, terrible health and safety issue. Right. So you just do all six petals. And it doesn't matter if you find that they're folded in on themselves. No. Because it, it just looks more natural. You don't want them to be all exactly the same, do you? No. The other thing you'll find with your flame, depending on the length of the wick of your nightlight, because this is just an ordinary scented nightlight, yeah. that depending on how long the wick is and depending on which, well, say which way the wind's blowing, your current of heat will not always be in the same place. Yeah, that's so true. So you just need to waft it over it until you see it start to go. You know, especially if you've got, if you've got a house, I mean, like mine, my windows are not the... Uh, most draft proof. If you've got a windy day, you'll find that it does blow the flame around. So there's your flame grilled Lovely. flower. What you need to do to make a corsage is make several of these. Okay. Um, oh, they're pretty. If you lay them out, now these are all in the same fabric. Mm. Um, the one, some of the ones I've done on the table, I've mixed the fabrics up. When you've got a bloom, normally you find that the centre of the flower, the petals are a lot more squeezed in than the, you know, the way that the flower opens. Mm -hmm. So have a look at which ones you think are more shriveled. Now I think that's very shriveled. And that one too. And that one too. 
So we'll stack them up. That one's quite shriveled. This one, these ones here, are fairly open. Mm. Yeah. So if you just stack them up together, just embroidery thread, go in and out to join them together. And then to really cluster it up, All right. I've found that if you lay them flat, make sure you don't get these petals in there, mm -hmm. you know, caught up in the thread. Oh, like that. If you just run a circle of running stitch, and if you can see this because the petals yeah. keep folding over, run a circle of running stitch through all of the layers. That'll bunch them up more, will it? Yeah, because what you'll do is you'll actually bunch up the centre of the flower so the petals stand more upright. Because mm. um, at the minute you've got a flattish bloom, yeah. haven't you? And you can see the centre of it. If, you, if that's the kind of flower that you want, I mean, there's, there's one I've done there, the blue one, which I've put some pearls in the centre of. Um, I've used a button in the centre of them. But if you were going to do it as a corsage or a hair ornament and you wanted it to be more of a, a, a bunched up bloom, mm. simply run this running stitch through it. Oh, these are lovely with the pearls and the button. It really adds a really pretty touch, doesn't it? Well, I mean, the other, you know, wedding corsages, you could, you could make them, yeah. you know, if you were having your bridesmaids dresses made, you could make corsages for your guests in the to same match. colour as the bridesmaid dresses. Yeah, grab some material in yeah. the same colour and there so you go. You've, you've sewn the circle of running stitch, just take your petals like that and then just pull it tight so that it's, it's squeezed it all oh, up well, in the middle. It's not, makes. you know, it's not really bunched up but it does make a difference. It looks a lot more like a flower and less like a pile of burnt plastic, <laughs> which is essentially what it is. Oh, that's great. Finish it off with a couple of securing stitches. Um, and then you can, you know, sew it onto a hair grip, sew it onto a brooch pin as a corsage. You could even make a little bouquet with it, you know, wedding yeah, bouquets. Yeah, They're you could do. They're becoming a lot more um, modern now with actual different textiles and fabrics, aren't they? Well, yeah, the like other that. thing that I've seen as well is, you, you know, you get these, um, like, foliage, uh, like the Oasis balls on sticks. Yeah, If absolutely. you had that, you could yeah. just get a normal dressmaker's pin, put it through the centre, and you could, you could put a whole cluster of them on an Oasis ball as a table centrepiece. That would be perfect, so yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the idea is I'm going to blow this out before I catch fire. <laughs> no. Very, very simple and, and really quite attractive, I think. Very effective, yeah. Well, thank you so much for that, okay. Corinne. Thanks for tuning in to the Crafts Channel and don't forget to subscribe to find out about our new projects coming up. Thanks so much.